again welcome to the session i am asha and i am going to help you with the following question which says evaluate i raised to the power 18 plus 1 upon i raised to the power 25 whole raised to the power 3 now as we know i raised to the power 2 is equal to minus 1 therefore for any integer k i raised to the power 4k is equal to 1 and i raised to the power 4k plus 1 is equal to i term so these are some ideas which we are going to use to evaluate a given problem so these are our key ideas Let us now begin with the solution, and we have to evaluate i raised to the power eighteen plus one upon i raised to the power twenty five whole raised to the power three, which can further be written as i raised to the power eighteen plus one raised to the power twenty five. On i raised to the power twenty-five, four raised to the power three. Now first we will evaluate i raised to the power eighteen, and then we will evaluate i raised to the power twenty-five. Now i raised to the power eighteen can be written as i raised to the power four into four plus two, which is equal to i raised to the power four. Into four into i raised to the power two. Now this is in the form of i raised to the power four k, whose value is one. By a key idea, so we have one into i square, and the value of i square is minus one. Now let us evaluate i raised to the power twenty-five. Now this can be written as i raised to the power six into four plus one. That is i raised to the power six into four into i raised to the power one, and this by the key idea is equal to one into i, which is further equal to i. And now let us substitute the values of i raised to the power eighteen and i raised to the power twenty-five. We get minus one one raised to the power twenty-five is one. Upon i raised to the power twenty-five as i, whole raised to the power three. Now let us apply the formula of a plus b whole cube, which is a cube plus three a square b plus three a b square plus b cube. Therefore, this can further be written as minus one whole cube. Plus three into minus one whole square into one upon iota, plus three into minus one into one upon iota whole square, plus one upon iota whole cube, which is further equal to minus one whole cube is minus one, plus minus one whole square is one, so we have three upon iota. And plus into minus is minus, so minus three upon iota square plus one upon iota cube, which can further be written as minus one plus three upon iota minus three upon iota square is minus one. Then we have plus and iota cube can be written as iota into iota square, and iota square is minus one, so we have minus iota. This can further be written as minus one plus three upon iota, and minus into minus is plus, so we have three minus one upon iota. Now three minus one is two, and taking one upon i common, we have three minus one, so we have two plus two upon iota. 
Now, this can further be written as 2 plus 2 into 1 upon iota. And 1 upon iota can be written as, now, 1 can be written as minus 1 into minus 1 upon iota. And minus 1 is iota square. So, writing it iota square upon iota. Now, 1 iota cancels with 1 iota in the numerator and we are left with minus iota. Thus, this can further be written as 2 plus 2 into minus iota, which is further equal to 2 minus 2 iota. And thus, when evaluating, we get our answer as 2 minus 2 iota. So, this completes the solution. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and have a good day.